What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Trey back again with a video today. I'm going ahead, going ahead and talk about the Tennessee Titans. I might make another video about the uh, the rest of the NFL games that I watched. But, yeah, I just want to talk about the Titans today because, you know, that's my favorite team. They came on CBS. They played the Browns today, one of the best defenses in the league right now. Yeah, so I probably rate them, like, as a top three defense right now. That They defense is legit. And, um, dog. Matter of fact, I wouldn't say top three. I'll probably say number one. Uh, to be honest, I put I put the number one defense in the league right now. And yeah, the Titans offense they were very up and down coming into this game, right? And I don't know what folks was expecting. I I truly don't know what folks was expecting. I knew it was gonna be a sore fest. When I watched the Browns versus the Steelers, that game was physical. And the Sun watching, I know he saw it. It was all a bunch of criticisms. Um, a report came out that they can void his contract before the game started. So, he has something to prove. So, yeah, if he had another stinker, yeah, Browns fans were going to come after him. So, yeah, we come into the game, and I just knew, like, this this, this wasn't it. This wasn't it. Okay, so Browns first possession, they ended up getting three points. Okay, so that's not, that's the that's the best case scenario, especially since they at the reason, okay? So, the Titans' first offensive drive was pathetic, okay? That was pathetic. So we go going um, Titans defensive uh, series, right? And then we ended up getting the fumble. I believe that was the series we got the fumble where uh, Sean Murphy Bunton ended up stripping a lot more and guys into the short field position. And these following three plays were the most pathetic I've seen, like, probably all year. And yes, I know it's three games in, but this it, this it definitely has to be out there, bro. It's definitely gonna be out there by the time the the year ends, right? The NFL season ends. So we call a run play, get stopped automatically by Miles Gary. Okay, second play, we try to throw another screen like a swing pass to Derek Carey to get him out of space and going. Got stripped by Miles Garrett. Okay, so we come down, we try to run another screen. Then it's war A yo, and then we had to uh kick a field goal. Like how is this Ryan Ten Hill fault? How is this Ryan Ten Hill fault? And then the rest of the game, I don't even have to explain the rest of the game. The Titans offensive line got dominated the whole game. Jim Swartz was literally laughing at our defense the entire time because he knew he was punking our offensive line. He he was doing it all game. He was running stunts they couldn't pick up. Miles Garrett himself, one on one, was dominating. Um, what's his name? Andre Dillard. They said chip help. The other folks started getting going. Like, dude. Our offensive line didn't come to play. It's okay to say that without trying to get off your 10 Hill hate agenda. I understand folks gave up on him after the Cincinnati playoff game. Okay? I understand that. But, dude, if we're just going to buy everything around 10 Hill because he's old, he's he's not mobile like he used to, then your takes is just not, it's just biased at this point. It's very biased at this point. Why should we take anything you say seriously? Like, honestly, the folks that are trying or clamoring, if I said that word right, for Malik Willis, y'all are trying to set him up to fail because if you think Malik Willis' playmaking ability was going to help the Titans make this game close or put up more than three points, you're not based in reality, pal. You're not. You're not. Did we not just see Patrick Mahomes, the best QB in the league right now, struggle to put up more than three points versus the Titans a couple years back? Did that not happen? And would you think a way, 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 way lesser version of Patrick Mahomes was going to do against that defense that was teeing up on offense on all game? Like, folks' takes are not based in reality no more. It's clearly 10 Hill hate to try to get him off the team. If you want more the team, that's fine. Okay, that's fine. Just expect to be a tanky team for like a couple years. Okay? Because these guys are not finished products in the slightest. We was probably way uh he has way more development to uh you know, to get to while real leave is he just probably one or two steps away from getting to where he needs to be as an info starting QB. But yeah, I, these these takes are just horrific. I keep seeing these dumb takes, and then our defense didn't show either. And I believe that was based because the uh, 
the way the Cleveland Browns were dominating the uh the clock, the time of possession, the Titans couldn't even get consistent possessions on because they kept getting, they kept trying to run the ball. It wasn't go, going nowhere. Excuse me, but yeah, uh, yeah, right. And bro, this ideology that you have to keep running Derrick Henry until it works is also like a fairy tale win. Fairy tale. Literally, the first play of the series, bro. The first play, the first play of the first series. I just knew this was not going to be good. This is not going to be good. Grand Deputy, he came up to the line of scrimmage. Like they, I think they had like a nickel or something on the other side. They was all in the freaking line of scrimmage. They had some linebackers in the, I believe, A and B gap. I could be wrong, or B and C. I, I don't know, but they was in the gaps ready to go. And, yeah, the Titans should abandon the run game when you clearly see the Cleveland Browns are trying to work and stop it. But... Folks on the outside wanting to run Derrick Carey 20 times a game like he's in his uh, mid to late 20s, or what he is late 20s, in his mid 20s, it's just not based in reality at all, dude. It's just not. It's just not. You 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 clearly see that they was trying to stop the run game. Stop going to it. Like you did against the Saints when the Saints were stopping the run. Get, get away from it early. Get, matter of fact, the Saints weren't even really stopping it like that. But the fact that you got off of it early, you made the defense have to think more and freaking made them have to guard everything. But you limit yourself when you have to play Derrick Carey, then you have to play him a single back, and you know they're going to ready to stop that. You know they're going to stop that. So, yeah. And then the snap count, Tyler Spirit played 55% of the fifty-five percent of the snaps this uh, series, or this game. That was, like, that was reasonable, right? And it should be more like that in the coming game because we cannot have teams play this style of defense each, each game and expect to win. You cannot win games like that. You cannot win games. I don't care who you are. If you cannot scheme and adjust on the fly and try to get out that uh, scheme, bro, I'm sorry, but any QB you put behind that offense, it's not going to succeed. I, I'm just being honest with you, bro. And now, and also, you have this small majority that won't uh, make right for it. It's weird, bro. Like, um, I just knew, like, when we had signed Tim Kelly, I knew the offense was going to be more diverse, right? But I just knew deep down that they was still trying to be a run-heavy team. And that that's not going to work. That's not going to work. Jim Schwartz put the uh, film out there now. So it's all up to the Titans to adjust or they're just going to keep uh, doing their own thing. I, I I can care less what the Titans do the, re the remainder of the season, bro. Because if they're going to keep putting out performances like this or keep doing, okay, we're going to win or we're going to lose bad, then I just I have nothing to feel about the Titans. Because if basketball season comes out a couple weeks away, I, I I can't wait. Like I I can watch, watch ba basketball. I can watch multiple basketball games at once. I would not be like frustrated if I miss out on a tight game. That's how out I am on the tight right now. Um, yeah. If this is our ten here last season, let it be his last season. But the fact that you think Willie Willis or will even be a better option, you just not based on reality and you're just biased towards your uh ten here. Okay? And those are my thoughts. On this matter, um, yeah, the Titans, I, I can't say they're not a good football team because I believe they still have some talent in there. But if they not going to, like, scratch the Derrick Henry game play once it gets stopped right away, well, yeah, this is going to be another bad season. And with the Colts, Texans, and Jaguars, with their young Kiwis, um, they're they, in, they, in their willingness to freaking adjust. Look at the coach, for example. You see how well they offensive scheme is adjusted? You see how they got a W against the Ravens and it would guard the Minshew at uh, quarterback? You see that, right? Like, I, I, I digress. I digress. That's all I got to say. See, if you guys like this video, like, comment, subscribe. This is your boy Trail ML. And I'm definitely up on this as soon as I uh, get done recording.